Uh, I come here tonight not for the parking, but because I'm concerned with what I'm seeing going on in government in general on a local level. Mm -hmm. uh, particularly what's concerning to me, I just wanted to bring uh, to light a few things. The uh, Hampton Beach Village District, which is a separate government entity I know, mm -hmm. is actually using taxpayer money to fund a political campaign against a citizen's warrant article, which I find abhorrent. Of course, the citizens' warrant article they're opposing is Mary Louise's Article 43. Mm -hmm. This this board voted four to one against that article. Mm -hmm. I on the budget. Well, <laughs> I the liberal session made my point clear. I'm also opposed to that warrant article. But even more opposed than than that warrant article, my opposition stands against using taxpayer money mm -hmm. to brainwash the public. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is absolutely <coughs> nauseating. I hope this board, although just just like the village district commission has voted in opposition to the uh, uh, Article 43, and this board voted four to one against it, I hope this board doesn't see precedence there, decide to start using town taxpayer money for such propagandizing. I've also seen some concerns relative to the IT policy, which was brought to light uh, a week or two ago, and it was described in the paper as uh, NSA-like which uh, was a bit concerning to me, uh, not only the description, I was familiar with the policy, uh, had a small amount of input at the time. But when I, when I look at that and I look at the planning board and their activities, I see that the town manager has um, placed the town planner on leave paid leave, paid vacation, you know, pay him not to work. <coughs> and then I hear the vice chairman of the planning board telling the Hampton Union that it's the planning board that hires and fires them, mm -hmm. but apparently it's the town manager that puts them on leave. I mean, what kind of management structure is that? I don't understand that at all. It doesn't make any sense. And when it comes to timing, the timing of it is appalling to me because Jamie was in respond was responding to a request of mine, a uh, 91 a request, a right to know request, and uh, relative to the semi secret laws that the board of uh, the planning board was putting forth. Within one work day later, he's put on leave. Now he responded via email, and when I when I when I bring that together, the NSA like policy, I have to <coughs> ask a basic question. Must the town manager reading Jamie's email or any metadata from it? This is very disturbing to me. What is even more disturbing is that apparently now that we've put someone on paid leave, this is normally a precursor to what? Firing a guy. And typically what happens is you negotiate something. You give him a little money to put a muzzle on him so he doesn't tell you what took place. That's going to result in what? An empty town planner position. But you look at the history of the creation of this town planner position. This town planner position was put forth in a warrant article three years in a row. Three years in a row it failed. Two years in a row it failed by more than a two to one vote. On the third failure, you know, in the America I know, three strikes and you're out, but not here in town government. No, no, no. On the third strike, you're not out, you're in, because right after that vote, that third no, we hired a town planner. So as far as I'm concerned, the town planner's position itself is illegal. So if it becomes vacant, I'm asking you, don't fill it until you get a yes vote from the town, at least, please. Let the voters actually be heard for once. Thank you. Okay.